to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, you want to uh, be updated to the content we're doing on a regular basis, head on over to YouTube, join our channel by hitting the subscribe button. You can follow Akash and I individually on Twitter, Akash at Mung Yeko, and myself at Just Analysis One. Taking a look at Bitcoin here, um, let's see, you've been living under a rock. Um, you'll know that everything kind of took a little bit of a nosedive over the last few days. Uh, certainly, Bitcoin over all since monday ish monday was the uh yeah monday was over here since the open on monday bitcoins okay, market price measure it's moved down as much as 12.1 percent it's currently down almost 10 percent for the week uh really just ending up matching kind of the lows that that uh, occurred back on december 4th December, December 4th, December 5th, depending on the, the, the day for you. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of developed a double bottom there. I really don't see any major change here at all for me, at least as far as my outlook is concerned, still looking um, for bullish price action to occur and a resumption of the bull trend. The oscillators are sitting in a good spot that would support um, Bitcoin's price action. In the daily chart, it looks pretty wide open to the downside. But when we take a look at the weekly, um, it's 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 just below the top of the cloud, and currently, you know, it could move lower. So it could it could move lower to test Senko Span B, the bottom of the cloud at uh, 37k. That would be the kind of max pain extreme though and that would be the first test of Senko span b since may of 2020 that'd be the first test of it and this is the first time it's fallen back into the cloud and the first time it's been inside the cloud on the weekly chart since um june of 2020 so that's been a while and the Chiku span is still above the candlesticks here. Uh, so, I mean, things are still healthy, but they if if Bitcoin drops below the cloud and then the Chiku span drops below the bodies of the candlesticks, and if it gets down to 31,000, boof, that would be ugly. That would be very, very ugly. That could trigger some massive downside movement. But on the weekly chart, we're getting to the extremes here in the optics bands um, where we're already coming off of some lows here in the composite index and the rsi is not even oversold yet uh, the rsi has uh a little bit to go yet to hit the first oversold level and in, in when it's in a bear market levels so it could come down to 30 37k still when i'm looking at it but otherwise um you know really i just don't see a whole heck of a lot to anything else other than it's a uh, looking like more like a liquidity grab and then we see it bounce back up uh so downside risk limited to 37k uh upside potential probably limited to, to the weekly tankins in at 54,500. and that does it for me on bitcoin i'll pass it off to you akash thank you john okay so this is my personal trading account or trading view account. So it's a little different than the chart that I usually present. Okay, uh, so the recent uh, flash crash on Jan 5th and uh, yesterday's one that we saw here uh, swept below the December 3rd swing low. Uh, as John mentioned, it was a liquidity uh, run. And right now I expect a Bitcoin to see some sort of bullish move where it probably uh, goes up to the Monday's low here at 45,700, or probably even uh, sweep uh, the Monday's high at 47,609. Uh, for now, I believe either of uh, these two levels are going to be swept uh, in the short term. I, I'm not sure if it's actually going to go above to the previous weekly high at 52,150 and collect liquidity resting here above the double tops. Uh, but I do want to mention that we are sitting above the sell stop liquidity here that was formed in September where Bitcoin set up multiple uh, equal lows here uh, from 20, approximately from 21st September to almost 29th September before it actually kickstarted a massive run up to 69,000, a new all-time high. So uh, 
I believe like we're gonna see a, a minor upswing here before we actually dip into this level here. So if we're lucky, we might even get a sweep of the previous weekly high at 52,150. And sitting just above that is this fair valley gap here, which extends from approximately 52,000 to 56,490. So if we uh, flip above the previous weekly high, uh, flip it into a support level, I believe there's a good chance we could tag 56,477, right? But I'm just gonna be a little conservative and. Uh, if I do want a long Bitcoin here, which I've already done, uh, I'm going to take profits at Monday's low, which is 45,700 45, and take off the rest of my uh, position at 47,609. So that's about it. That's my take uh, for Bitcoin from a shorter term perspective. Uh, this is the bullish outlook. But if we do manage to, uh, so I would be a little more optimistic, probably a retest of 56,477 is possible if we get a dip into this particular liquidity pool here which approximately ranges from 40,700 to 39,200. So yeah, that's uh, that's my take on uh, Bitcoin, John. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.